Okay, here is the other part of the jack configuration. First of all, you need to change the limits so the on the, so the for the memory lock in and jack, which I mentioned in the second video. To do that, go to slash etc slash security, as you can see in the yellow window, the terminal window, um, and edit limits.conf, limits.conf, and scroll down. And this is the one you want to you want to hit at audio dash memlock unlimited. This may already be in there. I've forgotten if it was already there or not. If it is there, um, change it to unlimited. If it's not set to unlimited, if it's not there, add it. Make sure it's it's um, make sure it's not commented too. Make sure there's no pound signs in column one. But that's the one you want, memlock unlimited, because the jack system uses does lock up a lot of memory, and you need that. Won't work without it. <clears throat> The other thing is the software that I picked up. I installed just about everything I could find until I finally got it to work, so some of this may not be necessary. This is Synaptic Package Manager, and I did a search for Jack, and it will show me all the things I installed. Uh, first of all, Jack itself, Elsa Player-Jack, Jack Mixer, Jack Capture, Jack Be Nimble, no, excuse me, Jack Studio, S-T-D-I-O. Um, Jack D. That's actually the demon that runs in the background, I think. Multimedia Jack. Uh, Libjack Jack D dash dev. Uh, development files probably didn't need those, but what the hell. Libjack dash Jack D2. Um, audio connection kit libraries. Jack meter. That gives you the, um, the meters. Libjack dash Jack D dash zero colon I386. No idea why there are 386 since I'm running on a 64-bit on a, uh, machine. Pulse Audio Module Jack, um, Jack D2, um, Q Jack RCD, um, Q Jack CTL. This one you really want. Uh, Jack is mainly a command line interpreter um, thingy. You have to do it by command line. You don't want to do it. This is a graphic interface. It's the one I use in part two. It uh, makes it um, doesn't make it easy, but it make it but it makes it less hellish. Um, doing it by command line is just, I don't know, it, it, everyone says don't do it. This actually does give a, uh, a nice uh, interface, reasonably nice. I think that's about it. So let me go back up and scroll again. So Jack Alsa Player, Jack Mixer, Jack Capture, Jack Studio, Jack Daniels, Jack D, no, it's Jack D, um, Multimedia, Libjack, and you can see them as I scroll through them. There may be others, as many others, of course. Um, that would go with other um, other software packages. The other thing you want to um, shut down that. Uh, the other thing you want to check is that not all all audio packages are Jack compatible. VLC isn't, uh, but SM Player, which I think is actually a little better than VLC now. They're both built very similar, uh, but VL, um, SM Player is um, Jack compatible. So that will be an issue if you're playing around with Jack, whether or not the particular software package you're working with actually uh, supports Jack. More and more do. Uh, Jack does run on um, uh, Windows. Uh, probably behaves somewhat similarly. It is uh, the quality of the audio when you play with when you run through Jack is is actually I, I think noticeably better, and it's supposed to be too. They say. So anyway, that is the uh, that's the basic software setup. You can see on my screen down here. I've got all a lot of these things um, isolated on on the um, on the Linux window desktop, which I'm running uh, Linux Mint um, May, um, and, and 18 Sarah. I run Mate, but anyway, um, the Kaja or C A J A interface. Uh, there's my mix. Um, that's a pulse volumeter um, a script to bring up my studio Audacity uh, links. There's the Jack mixer. Um, um, open OBS, Open Broadcast Studio, the meters, and there is the QJack CTL. I um, I don't think it actually popped up into my applications. Uh, did it? Um, uh, yes, it did. There it is. Um, sometimes these things don't make it into the uh, into the menu, and you have to go in and um, manually put them in as launchers, um, and, which means you got to know the name of it, which is usually the same name. If I go down here and go to Properties. And you go to, um, there's the command. Yeah, it is QJack uh, CTL, and it's in a standard um, path location. So that's all you'd have to say is QJack CTL, and it would run. So that's that.